Okay, this is the significant figure homework number two, part two. And on this part, we are going to practice applying significant figures to multiplication and division problems. Now, this actually, I think, is a bit simpler than doing so with addition and subtraction. So, basically, what you have to do is you have to figure out how many significant figures uh, your two or your given values have, and then your answer. Uh, will have the same number of significant figures as the value with the least number of significant figures, and the measure or the value that you're given at the beginning of the problem. Okay, so let's go through this. So we have 2a. So uh, first, let's just look at the significant figures that we have in the beginning here. So we have 651. That is three significant figures. And we have 75. That is two significant figures. We do the math, and we get 48,825 but uh, which by itself has five significant figures, but our number cannot have more than two because 75 from our given uh, value has only two. So we have to round to two significant figures. In doing so, we get 49,000, and we cannot forget the units. Units are one thing that can change when we're doing multiplication and division, uh, one of the things that does change. So we treat units basically just like we treat variables. So we have... 651 centimeters times 75 centimeters. And basically, we have centimeters times centimeters, so that gives us centimeters squared. And that's our answer, 49,000 centimeters squared. Okay, for the next problem, we have 7.835, that has four significant figures, divided by 2.5 liters, that has two significant, significant figures. So when we do the math, our calculator says 3.134. That number has four significant figures, but our answer cannot have more than two because the 2.5 liters has only two. So we have to round that to two significant figures, which would be 3.1. And in our problem, we are taking kilograms and dividing them by liters. So our units become kilograms per liter. And that's our final answer. Next, we have 14.75 liters divided by 1.20 seconds. So 14.75 has four significant figures. 1.20 has three significant figures because that zero at the end is to the right of the decimal point, so it is significant. So we do the math, and our calculator says this big long number. Whoops, I've already gone to the significant figures here. Okay, um, but we get 12.29166667. Uh, that's way too many. Digits, we, uh, based on the numbers we are given, we have to go to three digits, which you just saw. So that's 12.3, and our units are liters per second. That's our final answer there. Next, we have 360 centimeters times 51 centimeters times 9.07 centimeters. 360 has two significant figures, because that zero at the end is not significant. 51 has two significant figures and 9.07 has three significant figures. So when we do the math, we get 166525.2. That's way too many significant digits, so we have to round to two because two of our three uh, given values only have two significant figures, so we round that to two, and that gives us 170,000. And our units are uh, will come from centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, which would be centimeters cubed. So our final answer is 170,000 centimeters cubed, or cubic centimeters. Next, we have 5.18 meters times 0.77 meters times 10.22 meters. So 5.18 has three sig figs. 0.77 has two sig figs because the zero at the beginning is not significant. And 10.22 has four sig figs because the zero in between the one and the two uh, is significant. So that is four significant figures. But we already know that our answer cannot have more than two because the 0 0.77 has just two. So when we do the math, our calculator tells us this big number, 40.763492. But we have to round that to two significant figures. So that gives us 41. And our units come from uh, meters times meters times meters, which is meters cubed. That's our final answer. And finally, we have 34.95 grams divided by 11.169 cubic centimeters. 
So 34.95 has 4 sig figs, and 11.169 has 5 sig figs. So when, uh, we know that our final answer has to have 4 because of the 34.95. Uh, so we plug it into our calculator and we get this ridiculous number, 3.12919688. We have to round that to four significant figures. So when we do so, we get 3.129. And our units come from the grams divided by cubic centimeters. So that would be grams per cubic centimeter, which are units of density. And that is our final answer, 3.129 grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, hopefully this is helpful in... Uh, looking at these kinds of problems where we are accounting for significant figures while doing multiplication and division.